Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. From video number 29, we are seeing about the exception related question. As a continuation of that, in this video we will see about what should be your answer for the question, what is SQL error M and SQL code. To start with, in the earlier videos we have seen about the types of exception like named exception, unnamed and user defined exception. Irrespective of the type of the exception, every exception in PL SQL will have two information. One is the error code and another is the error description. So let us take an example. So in this simple PL SQL block, when you are trying to divide uh, two variable, in case of denominator evaluates to zero, Oracle throws an exception called divisor is equal to zero. So in this example, since V2 is equal to zero, Oracle is throwing this error. In this error, there are two information. One is like, in fact, this is a named exception. Uh, in this uh, error, the first information is the error code that is minus 01476. And the next is the description about the error. So these are the two main information which will be available in all the exception. In PL SQL, we have two functions. One is called SQL code and another is called SQL error M. SQL code function will return the code of the exception that is the code of the most recent exception whereas sql errorm function returns the description of the exception sql errorm function in fact takes the uh, error code as an optional parameter if we pass the error code it returns the description otherwise it just returns the last most recent exception Okay, so from interview point, you just need to say two information. One is SQL code returns the most recent exceptions code, whereas SQL errorm returns the description of the exception. We'll be using both SQL code and SQL errorm in the exception handling section, mainly to log the information into the log table because whenever we want to debug or during the production support time, the exceptions only will help us to identify what would have potentially caused the problem in the system. Now let us see how to use this SQL code and SQL error through three examples. One for named exception category, another for unnamed exception category and one more for user defined exception category. First let us start with a named exception uh, block. Uh, so this is almost the same example since uh, here uh, denominator evaluates to zero. This returns the exception divisor is equal to zero. To capture this exception, we can use the SQL error M function and SQL code function. When we execute this uh, block, since this is a named exception, I'm just handling the exception using the zero underscore divide name. When we execute this block, SQL error M will return the description. So the description includes the uh, code as well, whereas SQL code returns the only the code, this portion that is minus. 01476. This we will be able to get using the SQL code function. Let us see one more example for uh, unnamed exception category. So here is a simple PL SQL block. When you are trying to insert a value more than the uh, defined limit for a column, we will be getting an error saying that value larger than specified for this column. So this is an unnamed exception. If you want to handle this unnamed exception, typically we will be using the others category. Otherwise, we can give a name to this uh, particular exception using a pragma exception in it, which we saw in detail in the previous videos. Uh, otherwise, we can use the others category. So in the others category, uh, exactly like the previous example, we can use the SQL errorm to capture the uh, code. That is in this case, the SQL errorm will return the description. Same way, SQL code will get us the uh, code of this. So in this case, it is minus 1438. So this is an example for unnamed exception category. Let us see one more example for user defined exception. So here is a, almost the same example, but in this case, instead of Oracle raise the exception from this place, we are checking whether the denominator is evaluates to zero. If it is zero, we ourselves explicitly raising the exception using the raise application error. So we can either use the raise keyword or raise application error, which we saw in detail in the previous video. Since I'm using a raise application error, I'm giving a user defined range as minus 20,001 and a user defined description about the error. So that is why we are getting the Oracle format user defined error message. To get the detail about this message, we can use the SQL error M and SQL code. In fact, SQL error M will return the 
same uh, exception like the way we saw uh, in the previous example same way sql code will return the code what we defined here in this case it is 2001 a bit more information about the sql code uh, SQL code will typically give you the last occurred exception in the exception handling section but if you are executing this outside the exception handling this returns the zero and one more thing SQL code will return you the negative number only typically but for few cases like no data found exception it, re it returns 100 and also for user defined exception it returns plus one unless otherwise we explicitly assign the exception using the pragma exception in it. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, SQL practical questions and concept video. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you want any questions to be addressed, you can drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot.